Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about another application of analog multipliers, and that is in the modulation and demodulation of signals. Uh, the modulation of a signal consists of varying the properties of a periodic signal, known as the carrier signal, with an information signal, which is referred to as the modulating signal, in order to facilitate the transmission of the information containing the information signal. Once the signals are transmitted, uh, the process at the other end is the opposite process or the converse process, which is demodulation, which consists of extracting the information out of the signal. Analog multipliers uh, can be used for modulation and demodulation of analog signals in what are known as analog modulation schemes, as opposed to digital modulation schemes, uh, which basically uh, modify a signal for transmission, but this is uh, a digital signal. In the case of analog modulation schemes, we're talking about an analog signal uh, that's being primed for transmission. And there are different modulation schemes. Some of the most frequent include uh, amplitude modulation, or AM, where the amplitude of the carrier signal uh, is changed and made proportional to the modulating signal. Frequency modulation, where the frequency of the carrier signal is changed and made proportional to the amplitude of the modulated signal, the modulating signal, and phase modulation, or PM modulation, where the phase of the carrier signal is varied in proportion to the amplitude of the modulating signal. And so we can see out of uh, these modulation schemes, I've represented uh, roughly the signals, the modulated signals coming out of the three uh, modulating schemes. If the original signal is the one at the top, it's just a regular sinusoidal signal. In the case of amplitude modulation, we will have um, a, a faster varying or higher frequency carrier signal whose amplitude is being modulated, modulated following the information signal. In the case of frequency modulation and phase modulation, you can see that uh, the envelope of the signal is a constant envelope. What's being varied is not the amplitude uh, of the carrier signal, but rather the frequency in the case of frequency modulation and the, or the phase in the case of phase modulation. So we're going to take a look at how we can use an analog multiplier uh, to perform one of the most basic modulation schemes, which is amplitude modulation. And I've just drawn these three, uh, three circuits here to illustrate the process and how it is a multiplicative process. In the first one, I have drawn an amplifier with a constant gain, where I feed a signal, uh, which I've labeled as VC, that will be my carrier signal. And it's just a periodic signal, typically a high frequency periodic signal. And then uh, it runs through my amplifier, which has constant amplitude. And so the output will be the product of the two. My, um, my gain, A, which is a constant in this case, times my carrier signal. And so what I will get is basically uh, an output signal with a constant envelope, but it's the amplitude will be uh, A times the amplitude of the carrier signal, which was the input signal. Now let's imagine that I, instead of having a, an amplifier with a constant or fixed gain, I have an amplifier with a varying gain. And so my, my circuit is exactly the same, my input signal is exactly the same, a, a periodic sine wave. Uh, but my gain now is variable, so it reaches a maximum and then it, uh, it goes back to zero. My output is going to be equal to my varying gain times my input or carrier signal, VC. And so at every single point in time, uh, the, the value of the output voltage is going to be equal to the carrier signal, VC, times the value of the gain at that particular point in time, and that amplitude of, or, or gain is going to uh, vary or have different values at different points in time. And so what I will get in the end uh, is what follows, is uh, a periodic signal of the same frequency as my carrier signal, but now its amplitude is being modulated, and so the envelope of that amplitude follows my varying gain for the circuit. Instead of just having an amplifier of varying gain, we can use an analog multiplier to effectively multiply uh, one signal, my carrier signal, which is again the periodic signal, 
and what we refer to as VM or the modulating signal, the one that's going to modulate the amplitude of the carrier signal. And what I will get at the output is a signal that is proportional to the product of the carrier signal and the modulating signal, uh, the proportional of the constant I've labeled as K. And what I will get again is uh, my carrier signal with the amplitude being modulated by my modulating signal. And essentially, if I want to get my modulating signal back, I will have to uh, extract the envelope of that overall modulated signal, which comprises both the carrier and the modulating signal.